here. It's upon us once again. I hope that everyone has fun plans to celebrate Easter in their self-isolation, social distancing way. Whatever way you can make it fun, I hope you do it. And I'm here today to hopefully help you to have a little bit more fun than you might otherwise. Hopefully this could be maybe a little entertaining for you. Uh, so I decided that I would make a few coloring pages for everybody. And of course, I have to include Halloween. It can't be left out. That would be a crime in my book. So to start things off today, I have got for you a jack-o'-lantern Easter egg. Maybe some of you might even get inspired to paint one of your own in real life. That would be fun. So I've got this little recording of me drawing this going on right now. And I figured I'd tell you a little bit about myself as this goes on. Um, first of all, I absolutely love to make coloring book pages. It's one of my all-time favorite things as a professional artist. Um, I don't really enjoy coloring them in myself, but I just think it's so much fun to make the pictures for other people to color in. And so that's what I've done for you all today. I thought that it might be a nice little gift to help everybody just kind of feel like the world isn't just crashing down in flames right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not that bleak. Um, and I do believe we will get through this and and I guess in some ways there are some good things happening because of what's going on and that is it's pulling us together as a human race and I think that it's kind of helping us to reevaluate um, what's really important in this life and so I am glad about that um, however I really do miss being able to go out and see people especially my family um, just so you know, I am from a very large family. Um, we grew up in Montana, and I am the youngest of nine. That's right, you heard it right, nine. Um, and I love my brothers and sisters dearly, very dearly. Um, we grew up way out in the middle of nowhere and it was just us with each other for much of the time not always i mean we we did have some neighbors but i mean i'm talking like our closest neighbor lived like a third of a mile away and it was our cousin so <laughs> that might give you some little bit of an idea anyway we grew up on a dairy farm there and because it was so isolated, we were each other's best friends. And I still feel that it's very much that way. Um, and that's probably what I miss the most is seeing my family and seeing my nieces and nephews and getting to hug them and kiss them and things like that. Um, but I mean, I guess it's for the best right now and we do what we can and I'm sure everybody misses their family just like I do. And so it's nothing unique to me. Um, but in the meantime, I figured that I would create these pages for my nieces and nephews. They can print these off and color them in and maybe have a bit of fun for Easter. And I want to extend the invitation to all of you Anybody that subscribes to my channel will gain access to a free PDF of these printable coloring pages. Um, just message me and let me know your email address and I will email that to you. And um, you got to get it done before Easter though. And so you've got one day to get that done. But if you subscribe and send me your email, you'll get these coloring pages free. Huzzah! What's better than free? Anyway, uh, so I figured I'd continue to tell you a little bit more about myself. As growing up on the farm, one of the things we did there is we would raise bum lambs. 
Now for those of you that don't know, a bum lamb is essentially an orphaned lamb. Um, and what will happen is that a you will sometimes give birth to multiple lambs and um, sometimes she'll decide that she only wants to give focus on one of them and so she'll like raise the one and ignore the other and it essentially becomes orphaned and we take those lambs and raise them and we bottle feed them and, and such like that. Um, well, raising bomb lambs was my favorite as a child. And we each would have our very own, and sometimes we'd have a couple at a time. And uh, we would bottle feed them and nourish them and clean them. And in the springtime, we would shear them and we would collect the wool. Um, but I loved feeding the little lammies because they would get so excited to come drink from their little bottles and their tails would just wag and wag and wag all over the place and it was just so cute. Anyway, that was my favorite. So of course, I had to do a picture for Easter of a lamb. So this is what I'm working on right here in this screen recording. Um, I think she's turned out pretty cute actually. Uh, so more Easter stories because we grew up in Montana it's quite a bit colder there than a lot of places and what was interesting is that oftentimes we would have snow for Easter and you might be thinking snow that's Christmas well in Montana oftentimes that was also Easter and so we just learned to hunt eggs inside the house but uh, I remember one year the Easter Bunny brought us all real wooden yo-yos and man I thought that was great and I practiced really hard to learn to make that yo-yo go up and then come back or to go down and then to come back up and when I figured that out man I thought that I was just really genius and super awesome it was probably good for my ego that I didn't see that you could do tricks like walk the dog or other weird yo-yo tricks until I was older and had lost my interest in yo-yos. Otherwise, I think I probably would have given up pretty quickly on the whole idea of it all. But I was very grateful to the Easter Bunny that year for bringing me such a cool toy and what fun that was. Um, so here's another little story about sheep. Uh, when I got a little bit older, my family moved from Montana and we moved to Utah. And in Utah, I did driver's ed. And I had a driver's ed teacher that was a sheep farmer. And he was this old, weird dude, very interesting, quite strange. Um, my sister says he was the only pregnant man she ever knew. Um, but anyway, I remember I was doing my test for driver's ed and I was taking the practical test where you have to drive and do all the moves right and pass it off. Well, he asked me, how do you make a U-turn? And because I was taking a test, I was very focused and took it quite literally and I started to explain well you go to an intersection you make sure that you can make a u-turn there and you look and make sure there's no oncoming traffic and when it's safe you flip the car around into the other lanes going the other way and he stopped me and he said no you're wrong that's not how you make a u-turn all you have to do to make a u-turn is close the gate and I had no idea what he was talking about because I was still thinking seriously about driver's ed and driving correctly and passing my test I thought that he was 
using this as some kind of euphemism to help you remember the correct way to make a U-turn. And it freaked me out. <laughs> and I was afraid I was going to fail my driver's ed test because I couldn't figure out what close the gate meant. Well, after I thought about it for quite a while, embarrassingly long, I realized he was making a joke. A terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> but a joke nonetheless. So there you go. There's an Easter joke for you. How you make a U-turn? Close the gate. ba -doom Very nice, right? <laughs> oh, man. So this is probably my favorite picture in the group of coloring pages that I've made for you all today. Um, I really felt like I got to take my time on it and make it what I wanted it to be. I really wish I would have had time to spend on the others. Um, I didn't have time to scan them in like I would have liked to and spend the time, you know, correcting the line work like you see here on this one. Um, but uh, I wanted it to get it out in time so that you all could print it off for Easter. Um, I just kind of want to make things feel normal in some little ways and to make things exciting again. So you'll see I've got a few more drawings coming up that you get to see me do that I just did on paper and then I just scanned them in. Here you go, you're seeing it now. So how do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Ha uh, ha. Uh, I mean boo. Okay, here's another terrible Easter joke for you. How'd you catch a tame rabbit? The tame way! <laughs> there you go. Terrible jokes just for you. I hope that you all have been able to enjoy this video, and I hope that you're having a good Easter this time of year. Remember, keep your spirits up. It won't be like this forever. And we'll get to see each other and be with each other again someday and happy easter to all of you thanks for joining me